And we are back, everybody, for our uh, for our test video today. So we're going to be doing Unit 7 test today. Um, you're going to see it's just called Unit 7 test. Um, and this purpose of this video, I'm just going to walk you through all the questions. I want to read it all to you and explain the questions. Um, while you're taking the test today, let me know if you have questions. This is going to be so, so different. I know this whole thing is... So I just want to be as helpful as I can because at the end of this, if you're not learning anything, then what's the point? Um, even if you get something incorrect, something wrong, you, you may remember, you can learn so much from things that you, um, that you get wrong or the mistakes that you make. So please, please, please don't worry. Um, but let's take a look at unit seven test here. Um, I'm going to show you. So when you open up your Unit 7 test in Schoology, uh, you're going to just hit Start New Attempt. And all of your questions just go in, in a row. There's 11 questions on this. So it's kind of like when we did that 7.7 um, that .7 formative assessment. It's just up right on Schoology here. So you're not going to send it to Notability like we did for the review. You're just going to do it all on this. So question number one. Choose each description that matches the shape. So looking at that shape, is it a quadrilateral? Is it a parallelogram? At least one pair of perpendicular lines, all sides the same length. So if you think it's all of them, you can click all of them. If you think it's just B and C, you do B and C. If you think it's B and D, so you do whatever one you think, oh, just one of them or all of them um, for that one. And remember, you can always, before you take this test, go back and look through your notes from the review that should hopefully help you with all those vocabulary words like quadrilateral, parallelogram, at least one pair of perpendicular lines, all sides the same length. I'm not going to tell you on this video um, just because this is the actual test, but go look at those review things. You can go back and watch my review videos from yesterday as well before you take this. There's nothing wrong with that. Question two. Choose each description that matches the shape. So again, um, is this a quadrilateral? Is it a parallelogram? At least one pair of per perpendicular sides, all sides the same length. So if you think it is just A, you do just A. If you think it's A and B, you do both of them. If you think it's all of them, do all of them. Maybe you think it's just B and C. Maybe you think it's just C. You do whatever you think is right for that one. Question three, choose each description that matches the shape. So it's a similar kind of a problem again. Um, is it a quadrilateral? Is it B, a parallelogram? C, at least one pair of perpendicular sides? D, all sides the same length? Okay. You know what? And I'm even going to go back and um, just show you that question one, question two, question three. I'm going to see question four. Yep, question and question five are all the same kind of questions. So this one right here for question five, again, choose each description that matches the shape. Okay, A, quadrilateral. B, parallelogram. C, at least one pair of perpendicular sides. D, all the same length. So if you think it's just D and C, do those. If you think it's all of them, you do as many as you want for that one. Question five. Choose each description that matches the shape. Okay, so if you think it's A, a quadrilateral, choose that. If you think it's B, parallelogram, choose that. If you think it's C, at least one pair of perpendicular sides, choose that. If you think it's D, all sides the same length, do as many as you think for number five. Okay, the number six is similar, um, but not quite. So it says at the top, Caden draws this figure. Okay, choose each name that describes a figure. So, is it A, a quadrilateral, B, a rhombus, C, a rectangle, D, a square, E, a parallelogram? And you can tell this is huge vocabulary. So go back, watch those videos from yesterday if you need to, of like, what is a quadrilateral? What is a rhombus? What's a rectangle? What's a square? What's a parallelogram? Just to help yourself if you need to. Question seven. Name the figure with six sides and six vertices. 
Um, so for this one, just in this big white box, you're gonna just type the name. If you think it is a triangle, you will write a triangle, and that's all you have to do for your answer. But triangles have three sides, three vertices, so that cannot be it. Don't worry about spelling. Question eight. Choose all figures that have at least one pair of parallel sides. Okay, so if you think A has parallel sides, you'll do A. If you think B has one pair, if you think C has one pair, if you think D has one pair, if you think E has one pair, you can do all of them. Or if you think only just B and E do, you just do those two. Do as many as you want. Remember, it does not, not the whole thing, not a parallelogram, just one pair. And that was a question we had on the test yet, on the review yesterday. So that's something you can go back and look at. Question nine, is every square also a rectangle? Ooh, we had this on, our, on one of our, our that 7.7 formative. So I have to think, what is a square? Okay. I'm gonna whisper it. Four equal sides, four right angles. Rectangles have four sides, four right angles. Is every square a rectangle? For this one, you can write yes because, or you can write no because. Totally up to you. Just make sure you give me a good reason. Do you think you think, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say totally up to you. Um, there is only one right answer for this one, but is every square a rectangle? Yes because, or no because. Give me that reasoning. Okay, question 10. Molly thinks this shape is a parallelogram. Jordan thinks it's a rectangle. Who is correct? So I have to think, what's a parallelogram? What's a rectangle? So you'd say Molly, because, so you think Molly's correct, that it's a parallelogram. So Molly because, and give me a reason why. And you cannot just say Molly because she is right. Tell me, give me the, tell me why that is a parallelogram. Same thing like up there. You can't just say, is every square a rectangle? Yes, because it is. I need some actual like reasoning. Like up here, I could say no, because squares have three sides. I know that's not true, because squares have four sides, but um, that's what I want. You, you have to give me at least a reason. Same thing with this one down here. Or you might think it's Jordan. You think, no, it's Jordan. Jordan because. And I just need a good reason. And don't worry about spelling, everybody. When you're typing, just do your best on it. Last question. Choose two different quadrilaterals that are not rectangles or rhombuses. So it has to be a quadrilateral, but it's not a rectangle or a rhombus. Okay, so A, triangle, B, trapezoid, C, hexagon, D, parallelogram, E, pentagon. When you're done, um, just submit it. And again, really, if you have any questions, let me know. Have fun.